I have a petite spring and summer haul for you guys today. This is my first real haul I've done all year. I have lots of dresses, some are shorter, some are longer. I have a lot of tops. I have some shoes and even some accessories to share with you. Not all of these pieces are from the same place. These are items that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks and a lot of them were strategic. Things that I was looking for last year that I couldn't find or things that I'm just really liking for this year. So some are from Abercrombie, some are from The Gap, J. Crew, several different places. So I'm excited to get into it and let's get started. Okay, I think I'm gonna start with dresses and I do have some notes here. I can't keep all of this information in my brain, it's a lot. So if I look down, I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I get the right information to you guys. So this first dress is from Abercrombie. This is a linen blend vest dress. I'm wearing it in a size petite medium, although it does come in regular petite and tall. It comes in three different colors, and as I said, it is a linen blend. So in the first look, I just styled it on its own so you could see exactly what the dress looks like, but I'm gonna style it a couple of different ways. So in the next look, I added a very simple belt. This belt is from Amazon. I added a crossbody bag, and then I threw on a pair of these very neutral Sam Edelman sandals. And this alone, I think, is such a, a cute look for either every day or even kind of an, some kind of occasion that you might have. So then in the next look, I just added a cropped denim jacket kept with the belt and then just added a different purse for a little bit of a different look. But I kept on the Sam Edelman sandals, but I think this look with the jean jacket has a more relaxed feel to it. So you could easily pair this with tennis shoes. Um, or some little sneaker as well. And then I changed the bag out. This is just a little Chanel dupe that I have. But I think this is a really casual outfit. This dress can be styled many different ways and it's just a really cute option. The crop denim jacket is from Target. Now, what I will tell you about this denim jacket, I picked this up recently. I'm wearing it in a size small, but what I found with this denim jacket is that it runs super duper large in the shoulders. So for me, I'm much broader on my shoulders than I am you know, in other places on my body, but even on me, this was very large in the shoulders. So I think this jacket maybe will work better in the fall or the winter to layer thicker pieces and thicker sweaters underneath. But I wanted to tell you about that if this is something you're looking at and also if you're more petite in your shoulders, this runs very, very large. So just be aware of that. I'll try to find some other crop denim jackets that might be a better fit if you are much more petite up here, but I'll link that down below if I'm able to find something similar. So in that next look for this dress, I kept the belt on and I added a driving moccasin. And I have to give a shout out to somebody who commented on a recent video, a few videos back. Her name is Carol Alvarez. I hope I'm getting that right. She suggested that I try a driving moccasin. So thank you, Carol. I did try a driving moccasin and I fell in love. I think these are such a great alternative to a loafer or like a traditional loafer or even some of those chunky loafers. I love the low profile of them. I talked in a recent video about high vamp and low vamp shoes and what I love about these driving moccasins versus a regular loafer is that they have a lower profile, meaning the top of the shoe does not come up high on your foot. Super, super comfortable. Thank you, Carol, for recommending that. And this one that I'm wearing in this try on is from Blondo. You can see it's in this very neutral tan color. I absolutely love these. I also picked up a pink pair of driving moccasins. It's hard to tell in the video, I think, but they're really pale pink driving loafer. I love these as well. These are from Massimo Matteo. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. If somebody knows, let me know down in the comments. But these are also super comfortable and I have been enjoying these tremendously. So if you are into driving moccasins, these are two really good ones to try out. Also, if you have some other favorite driving moccasins, please comment down below and let me know which ones are your favorite because I'm definitely on the lookout for more. I love them. Okay, the next dress is also from Abercrombie. This is the relaxed shirt dress. 
and it's hard to tell in the trial. It is this very pale light blue and white striped dress. So I'm showing it on its own in the first look. Cute on its own, but I prefer it. I added a belt. This is another very simple belt from Amazon. I added a belt to it, which I like it better with the belt. I also added the crossbody bag, and then I had the same Sam Edelman little sandals on, and I think this is such a cute, comfortable dress. I absolutely love it. This comes in one other striped version and it is a cotton polyester blend. I'm wearing this in a petite medium and again these come in petite, regular, and tall. So in the next look I changed it up just a little bit and I just added a sweater over the shoulders and I love this look as well. I think it is so cute and then I just have on a neutral sandal with it and just so easy and so comfortable and lots of different ways to style it. Okay this next dress dress was a little bit of a wild card for me. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I ended up loving it. This dress is from The Gap. It is a multicolor midi dress, and I think the colors look really muted on the try-on, so I highly recommend take a look at it on the website. It is just gorgeous. This dress is a linen blend sweater dress, and it's a very unique material. It really feels more like a sweater, but it's super lightweight. I purchased this in a petite medium. When I purchased this, I noticed that they were very low on stock for the petite sizes. They had plenty of regular sizes. But what I love about this dress in the petite medium is that I think it is the perfect length. It's the perfect for me anyway. It is a linen polyester blend. It is machine washable. It comes in sizes extra, extra small through extra, extra large. So I threw on another Amazon belt with this. I liked it better with the belt. I have nude sandals on and then this straw clutch bag is also from Amazon and it's just so beachy to me. I really see this dress being perfect for a vacation, perfect for a beach trip, especially with the straw bag. And this one is just from Amazon. It is not expensive, but it just makes the whole outfit to me and I think it's so cute for such a reasonable price. Okay, one more dress I have. This one is from Quince and I showed this dress in white a few videos back. I'll link that video down below if you're interested. When I showed that dress in white, I had mentioned that I purchased it in navy as well. And in the try on, it's very it's coming off very black, but it is a true navy and it is gorgeous. It is a little bit too long for me and I do plan on getting it hemmed, but I'm only five feet tall. So if you are anything taller than I am, this might actually be fine for you. It does not come in petite sizes. However, I don't find that it's unreasonably long. I could get away with it, but I am going to hem it just a little so I can wear it with flats and tennis shoes. The dress is made of 100% European linen. The straps are adjustable, which I love, especially if you're petite. So you can adjust those straps to fit you. It does have a hidden side zipper on the side and it's smocked in the back. So it gives a little bit of stretch. But I also mentioned in the video when I showed the white one, that I found it, even though I'm not big on top, I'm a 34B to C, just depending. And it's supposed to be fitted, but I felt like, wow, if you are much bigger than I am, it might be a little bit of a tight fit. So just wanted to mention that if you have a larger chest than I do. But like I said, it does have that smocking in the back, so it does give a little. There are also pockets in this dress, which is, is such a wonderful feature to have on a dress, especially a long dress. So I just love this dress. I think it is beautiful. This is a dress that will take you through many, many seasons and could easily be paired with a sweater or a jacket or something else that you, if you wanted to throw something over your shoulders. And I believe this one comes in extra small through extra large. I'll have all the details down below. Wanted to also mention that I found a strapless bra on Amazon that I'm wearing with this dress and I'm going to link it, but I was disappointed to find that this particular strapless bra that I picked on Amazon, they are made for women who only have a smaller chest. I don't think they go up past a B. So I'm going to try to find another comparable one if you have a larger chest than that because I used to be larger than this. I had a reduction last year. I've, I've mentioned that before. That's a whole different subject, but 
I know what a struggle it is to find, especially a strapless bra for a larger chest. So I'm gonna look and see if I can find something comparable. The one I have on, what I love about it is that it really sits flat to the chest. There's no gaping and it's just a really, really nice fit. I believe it was from the brand Pepper, which I had never heard of. But if you do have, you know, an A or a B chest, this is a really, really good one. Okay, so moving on, I wanted to show you this white blazer that I got from J. Crew. I had my eye on this for a minute and I finally went ahead and purchased it. It was on sale. I purchased it in a petite eight. It is a linen cotton blend. It is lined, it is dry clean only. I paired this with some white jeans from Banana Republic. I've shown these jeans before. I absolutely love them. It's a girlfriend fit, so they're very relaxed and comfortable, and you can roll them up as high as you want or roll them down, so it's very um, accommodating to depending on how tall you are or short you are, like me. I believe I'm wearing these jeans in a six petite. Now, the one thing I wanted to mention about this jacket, although it's a beautiful blazer, it is tight on me in the shoulders. I ordered an eight petite, and I am broader in my shoulders being petite than probably some people are. And I normally size up in a blazer because I wanna be able to wear things under it comfortably and not have it pulling across my back. This one, way too tight. So, and then what I also want to mention is that this blazer has no stretch in it, which I didn't realize, or maybe I didn't read the description well enough. So that was a little bit of a bummer for me. So I believe I am going to send this one back. I did repurchase a completely different blazer from Lascana, and I'll show it here. This one has stretch in it, and so I'm hoping I have a little bit better luck with that. And once I get it in, it didn't arrive in time for this video, but I will update you guys on how that one fits because I think it's very comparable. It looks very petite friendly in the, both in the picture and the description. So I'm looking forward to getting that. I've been looking for a white blazer since last year. So even though this one from J. Crew didn't work out for me personally, I'm hoping that this one from Lascana will. But if you are not broad shouldered like I am, then this may work for you. Also wanted to mention the tank top that I have underneath. These tank tops are from the Amazon Essentials line. They come in two packs and they have every color combination under the sun in solid colors and stripes. They are a cotton blend and they are so very soft very comfortable. They have some stretch in it. I ordered several two packs, um, all in a size small. If you want a baggier fit, I would suggest to size up. But if you want something that's more fitted, that's going to fit well under blazers or underneath something else, then go with your regular size. But they have so many cute colors. This is not showing up very well. This is like an aqua blue. This is a gray. They have white, navy, black. This is a coral color. It looks like on my camera it's coming up orange, but it's much more like a salmon color. Very reasonable. I believe they're about 20 bucks for a two pack, but super, super soft and very, very comfortable. Okay, the next item is a top from Express and I'm wearing one right now. This is the short cuff sleeve twist front shirt. I purchased it in a white and a black. I'm wearing a size small. They are true to size. They are a rayon blend. And what I love about this shirt, if you're like me and you do not like to tuck your shirt in most of the time, this has like a faux wrap front. What are they calling it? They're calling it a twist front. So there's this faux twist front that you do not have to tuck it in. It's perfect to pair with your jeans and your shorts and in the back, it's not too long. I love this. So if you are like me and you do not like to tuck in your shirts, this is a great shirt. It comes in a couple of different colors. Like I said, I'm wearing a size small. What I realized when I was doing this try on is that there's a little bit of a gap here. So I'm wearing this little white cami underneath here, and this is a cropped cami. 
because I don't like normal camis that, because if you're wearing something that doesn't need to be tucked in, it defeats the purpose if you're gonna wear a long cami that does need to be tucked in. So what I like to do is just wear a cropped cami underneath here so that I can keep with the no tucking in that I want to achieve. So I'll link this down below too. I think this was from Amazon, but this has a built-in bra. Um, so if that's something you like, you would not need to wear a bra with this. But I actually think it's, it's cute with the white tank underneath that just gives a little more interest to the shirt. So very reasonable, comes in, I believe extra small through extra large and just a nice staple to have in your closet. This will take me all through summer with lots of different outfits. I paired it with jeans and the driving loafers from Blondo. Love, love, love those loafers. I cannot say it enough. Thank you, Carol. And then in the outfit with this one on, I just paired it with a new pair of sandals. I think these are fantastic. I wanted to mention what I have on this chain necklace. I've worn this one before. This is from And Other Stories. And I don't know that it's in stock anymore, but I see them everywhere. So I'll link a similar one below. And this little crop, this little bar necklace that I have on, hopefully you can see it, is from Uncommon James. Both very, very reasonable. If you haven't shopped at Uncommon James before, she has, it's Kristen Cavallari. She has wonderful, wonderful jewelry and a lot at a very reasonable price. So I just wanted to mention that real quick. In the earrings, I believe these might be from Kendra Scott. Okay, the next top I'm showing is actually a bodysuit. This is the very first bodysuit that I have ever owned. The bodysuit is from Revolve, but it is made by Free People. I purchased this in a small, it runs, I would say slightly big. So you may want to consider sizing down if this is something you're interested in. It's a polyester blend. It does have a snap closure and beware ladies, if you don't like this, it is a thong. I will say, it's pretty comfortable and I do not wear thongs. The good thing about this is that if you don't like tucking in your shirt, it's kind of one and done and there's no work involved in it since it is a bodysuit. But I do find that I actually really like this a lot. It's very comfortable. So I wanted to throw that in in case this is something that you've been looking for or something that you're interested in. So I did pair this with my jeans from Liverpool. I love these jeans. I've shared them before. They are the boyfriend or girlfriend fit, which just means that they are a more relaxed fit. And I I love these jeans. They are very comfortable and reasonable. I've had these jeans for a while and I think they phased them out maybe for a new style. So a great alternative to this jean is a pair of jeans from Talbot's that are also a very relaxed fit. And I'll link those below if you're interested and something comparable from Liverpool to these jeans. Okay, the next top I'm sharing is from J. Crew, and this is a polo style pullover sweater. It has the nice v-neck. It comes in so many great colors. It's super lightweight, very comfortable. And this one is 100% cotton. I'm wearing it in a size small. I would say that it is true to size. I bought this in a pink and also a black. And then I also have it in a, in a cream color. What I love about these tops is that they look fantastic left out, but they also look great tucked in. So just depending on what you know, you are comfortable with, they look great either way. So these are such a staple for me because they go with shorts, they go with jeans, they go with everything. This is something that really will take me through, through most of spring and the summer until it gets too hot that we don't wanna wear any clothes at all. But I love this and I believe these are on sale right now. They had 40% off, so I snapped up a several colors while they were on sale and hopefully they still will be on sale when the, by the time this video goes up. But if not, they run sales all the time, J. Crew Factory, so keep your eyes out. And the last item I wanted to share is a basic that I have loved for several years now and it is the basic t-shirts from Uniqlo. I think I'm going on my third or fourth season purchasing these t-shirts. They are such a great price point. 
$14.90 and these are such good quality. If you like a t-shirt that has a little bit of weight to it, that washes well, that really holds up and has some structure, these are my favorite. And I end up repurchasing these every year because I think white t-shirts, basic white t-shirts, I feel like I need to repurchase them each year because they either get dirty or a little dingy from being in the wash. And at $15, basically, I don't feel bad about replacing it. And I just love the fit and the feel. The other thing about these is that they're not too long. So I don't feel like I have a ton of extra fabric. They look great worn out. They look great tucked in. They layer wonderfully. They are wonderful on their own. I can't say enough good things about these. So hopefully they continue to sell them because I will continue to buy them every year. I purchased, I typically get at least two in white and then one in black and possibly one in like a navy color true wonderful basic to have in your closet. I am curious though, I've heard a lot of people talking about the basic white t-shirts from, I wanna say it's pronounced Coz, C-O-S, or is it Cos? If somebody knows how you pronounce that or what the correct pronunciation is, let me know down in the comments. But I've heard fantastic reviews about their basic white t-shirt. However, they're $50. Um, so I'm real curious if they're worth the $50 for something that I repurchase every single year. I have a hard time purchasing a basic white t-shirt for $50, but I wanna know if anybody's ever tried them because I am a little bit curious. So let me know down in the comments if you have tried them. Okay, I think that's everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will link everything down below. All of the different accessories and the shoes, everything that I showed. Everything will also be on my like to know page so that you can shop everything in one place if that's something you would rather do. So it will be over there as well. And that link to my like to know page will also be down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please sound off down below and give me your thoughts and opinions. And of course, if you enjoyed this video and this content, please hit that like and subscribe. And I thank you so much for doing that. Hope you have a wonderful week and until next time, bye.